What's up guys, this is TJ, AKA Fishing with Yak Pack, and man, what a video this is gonna be. I never thought that I would see the day that I would be making this video. I actually just, uh, random, just finished walking on this uh, little nature trail, kind of reflecting on my years of service and reflecting on the fact that today is actually my, <sighs> whew. Uh, it's my last day in the army after 12 years damn twelve years in the army and uh, I'm leaving the army to pursue YouTube fishing <laughs> or YouTube or fishing or both, whatever, however you want to word that. I'm leaving the army to pursue that, right? So a little backstory, if you didn't watch uh, Lojo's podcast, I was on Lojo's podcast a few weeks ago and kind of gave the whole breakdown. So uh, if you want the whole breakdown of like my military career and all that good stuff, you know, I'll link his video down below so you can see that. Uh, we did a podcast on exactly that. But to sum up, it's man, it's gonna be hard to sum up 12 years. It's gonna be hard to sum up 12 years in one video, man. Um, so, in 2016, I, uh, I started a YouTube channel because I saw some guys that were filming together all the time, and uh, they <laughs> they were fishing, they were filming, they looked like they were having a blast, and I was like, you know what? <clears throat> My wife's got a camera, and I have a GoPro that I used uh, when I was in Iraq. So I was like, you know what? Let me, let me just try that. Let me just try that. It's random, random thing. And, and here we are today, four years later, a uh, 116,000 plus subscribers at this very minute, uh, March 31st, 2021. And <laughs> what a ride it's been, man. So a lot of people are asking me the question of, uh, what's well, too late now? <laughs> Cause I didn't, I didn't reenlist. So it's far, it's uh, that window's gone, but, uh, a lot of people were asking me, why don't you just do both? With something like this, um, YouTube specifically, it's a very uh, fast paced type deal. So it requires a lot of attention and a lot of focus uh, and a lot of effort, tons and tons of effort. A lot of people, you know, I explained it in detail on Lojo's podcast. A lot of people didn't see that. When I was stationed in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, staying up editing videos till three o'clock in the morning and then getting up at 5.30 to make it to PT at six o'clock to go work the rest of the day until 6 p.m. and then get off and then go fish and make a video and do the same, repeat the same process over and over again. There's just a, there's a drive that you have to have. Um, and I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change anything for the world. About a year and a half ago, I made the decision to go at YouTube full speed. Like all focus, 100% focus was on, uh, was gonna be on YouTube and, and fishing and making the best videos that I can make. I don't have a camera guy. I don't have an editor, you know, um, one, you know, hopefully this year I'll, I'll be able to get those things. I don't have any of that right now. So it's just, it's full on. It's just me making these videos, but this video is a lot harder to make than I, it's a lot harder to make than I thought it was going to be mm, 12 years in the army. Uh, <clears throat> I met some of the I met some of the coolest people that I will ever have the pleasure of having met before uh, while serving. Um, people that would truly uh, jump in front of a bullet. People that would truly uh, give their life to save another person's life. Um, it's hard to <clears throat> it's hard to walk away from that, right? So camaraderie of just and the closeness that people in the military have are I mean that that you don't you you, you can't get that anywhere else maybe uh, maybe as a police officer and a firefighter uh, but other than that I mean it just it you don't get that working at Amazon or or um, I don't anywhere anywhere Bass Pro I mean you just don't get that um, and it, it was hard it was a very very hard decision to walk away from that 
but uh, I found my what I feel like I found my true uh, calling, my true passion, right? But I saw an opportunity and I jumped all over it and I never looked back, not one single time did I ever look back. Uh, and it came to the point where getting back to, I know this is kind of all over the place. This is 12 years worth of emotions just in one little eight minute video. I mean, this is crazy, but <clears throat> there came a point in time where I realized, I mean, I, it, was, it was so crystal clear. I realized I can't continue in the army and grow a successful uh, and an entertaining YouTube channel as it should be grown or as I see it should be grown. Um, in the army, you do things, for example, 2017, I had a YouTube channel. I had this this YouTube channel. For those of you that have been around a while, you remember this. Uh, it, I was seven times in 2017, I was gone for 30 consecutive days. I think five of those was 30 days. And then the other two were like 15 to 18 day training things in, uh, in Louisiana and JRTC. If you're in the army, then you know what that is. But uh, I did five of those full rotations both as a, a trainee and a trainer and a uh, OC, like an observer controller or whatever, like a, um, not a judge, but a, somebody that helps train the people. Anyways, freaking camera keeps overheating. Anyways, uh, point being, I would not have the time, right? Now, I'm also a believer and you have to make time. If there's a passion that you wanna pursue, whether it's uh, crocheting or water polo or lifting weights, whatever, if you have a passion, you have to make time. And this certain scenario, you, I couldn't make time for this because uh, when I'm out training for those 30 days, and this this was all like, you know, some of it we had a month notice, uh, some of it we had a week notice. Uh, the first time I went out there to be a trainer for the 30 day thing, I had, um, uh, and this is no sh a three day notice, I think. Three day notice, I had just got back from a 30 day rotation as a, train, a trainee, uh, got back, it was like three or four working days later, they were like, hey, Kelly, you're gonna go back and you're gonna be a, a trainer this time. And I was like, wow, okay, sick. So uh, that took away from you know, YouTube. And uh, it, I didn't view YouTube as serious back then as I do now, but uh, I still, like, it, it sucked because I couldn't go out and make videos because I, was, I wasn't anticipating on that, right? And, and at a moment, so especially being in the 82nd, you guys know, uh, if you're in the military and you're in one of those like, 82nd or 10th Mountain or 101st or somewhere, you know, 25th ID, something like that, where you guys can just up and leave at any point in time. One of the global response force type units. It's crazy how sometimes you just get no notice and uh, it's, you know, no notice deployment or, or uh, w whatever the case may be. Uh, and that, with that, I, I couldn't do YouTube full time. So anyways, fast forward a little bit, I became a recruiter. It's a lot more chill than, um, than in the regular army. It's like a nine to five job basically. So. Uh, and I was really blessed with that. So it allowed me to really focus on YouTube. And once I really started to see the potential, I was like, wow, this could, uh, especially last year, 2020, uh, with the help of Norm specifically, Norm kind of took me under his wing and was like, look, man, uh, let's just work together. Let's work hard and we'll grow. Let's get our numbers up and we'll grow. Let's do it. I, he's like, I got faith in you. I believe in you. Norm's like, Norm telling me that really was like, wow, okay. You know, here I am 30 years old. Norm was 22 at the time, and or 21, excuse me, at the time, and uh, he was just like, "Look, trust me, just trust me. I believe in you, and I believe in this. Just trust me. Let's, you know, let's work together, and we'll make it work." So, and, you know, here we are. But anyways, yeah, this is kind of one of those. Just uh, I know it's not a usual type video that I would put here on the channel, but this is a uh, literally a once in a lifetime thing. You only get out of the army once, and I wanted to uh, share this very very special moment with you guys, uh, especially the OG OGs that have been here since like 10, 20, 30, 40 K. Um, I mean, you guys mean the absolute world to me, all of you, every last one of you watching this video mean the world to me. And, uh, I cannot wait to share just future adventures with you guys here on fishing with yak back. I'm so stoked. Now I'm nowhere close to where I want to be, but I am living proof, like living, breathing proof that if you have, if you're passionate about something and you, there's gonna come a time where you just see that. You see the moment 
and you see the opportunity and you realize it, and I'm telling you right now, don't pass it up. No matter what it is you wanna do or no matter what anybody else thinks, uh, I was told a hundred times, a thousand times probably, uh, who would wanna watch you? That'll never work, that's dumb. Fishing videos on YouTube, that's stupid. I, I got told that a, a hundred times or a thousand, you know, whatever the case is, but uh, tons of times nonetheless. And uh, now here I am living proof that uh, if you work hard enough, if you want something bad enough, and your determination and your you're just strong-willed and you want to make it work uh, just do it. It, it it'll work trust me like especially if you're younger I'm 30 I'll be 31 in like two days but um, if you're late teens early 20s and you've got something like you're passionate about I don't want to be a, a, a regurgitator of Gary V's content but he's hundred percent right if you're in your if you're younger just swing for the fences man just go for it try to hit a grand slam because you never know what you could stumble upon uh an idea that you've got you could be the next jeff bezos or the next elon musk and you don't even know it so uh just pursue your passion at a young age trust me it, it's very surreal but today is my last day in the army and uh we're gonna make the best of it and it's a it's a very bittersweet moment but with that said thanks for watching thanks for hearing out my little uh my little spiel it's a very emotional video you know you don't spend 12 years in the military and and uh, just, wow. Yeah, I love you guys. We'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace.